mighty is our God sing hallelujah hallelujah welcome back hallelujah good to be with the people of God again just want to just share some words you know hallelujah that we can't forget God's benefit we can't forget his benefit we can't forget it you know the enemy wants us to forget God's benefit and what he's done that's why the Bible says we should always give thanks in the good times and the, and the bad times. You have to give thanks. Whosoever commits sin, transgress also the law. For sin is a transgression of the law. And you know that we was, he was manifested to take away this, our sins. And in him there is no sin. Whosoever abide in him, sin it not. Whosoever sin it, had not seen him. Praise the Lord. Whosoever continues to sin, have not seen God. Hallelujah. And then he said, right here, little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteous is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that commits sin is of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Hallelujah. God is saying the devil, Satan, sinned it from the beginning. Hallelujah. So Christ came to, was manifested to take away, to destroy the works of the devil. Hallelujah. He said, don't be deceived. He that doeth righteous is righteous. But he that doeth unrighteous is unrighteous. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't be deceived. He that commits sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned it from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever is born of God doeth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. A lot of people always ask us this faith, this thing right here. You see when he that is born of God, when you have the born again experience, the Spirit of God come and he, and he, and he, and he comes to live, he, he lives inside of you. Yes, we're going to fall sometimes. But, we're not, he, you know, you remember the woman when he said, um, you know, go and sin no more? How did he do that? He said, go and sin no more. All these people around here, all these men condemn her. But he said, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Hallelujah. Because she is a daughter of, of Abraham. And many of us, hallelujah, have fallen in, 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 into sin. You know? But we have to we have to come back, we have to get back up and, and come back. He said a just man fall, you know, seven times, but he, he, get, he get back up again. And he continue in the faith. Because remember, you know, Jesus died, this is what Jesus died for. If you if you sin willfully, if you know if you say, you know what, I'm gonna get up tomorrow. And start drinking, and, and you know, and, and you know, and start lying, you know, and, and go steal something. If you plan it in your head, in your heart, that's willful sin. You have made up in your mind you're going, you're going to do it. But but um, if you're going through life, you know, and um, something come out of your mouth that it was wasn't right, and you and you recognize that it wasn't right, and you repent. That's, that's what God said, you know, because the seed of God remained in you because, remember, Jesus is, is forever. He lived forever to make intercession for you and me. Hallelujah. You remember he told Simon Peter, Simon Peter, Satan desire to sift you like wheat, basically to kill you, man. <laughs> you know? But Jesus said, you know what? I prayed for you. Because Jesus knew that, you know, he was going to deny deny him you know you know he was going to deny him so now Peter was a disciple of Christ is he born of God yes <laughs> yes he is because remember this is why why the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil Paul said you know um, I am crucified with Christ nevertheless I live. You could see me. 
you know. We have to let I live, but he said, it is not I that live. It is the Christ that live within me, the Spirit of God, the seed of God. Remember I said, right, sir? He that is born of God cannot sin. Praise the Lord. But if you're corner-minded, you cannot understand it. The world cannot understand this. They don't know what it is. Because it, Jesus says, abide in me and I will abide in you. You know, he said, you know, um, a bad tree cannot bring forth good fruit and a good tree cannot bring forth bad fruit. God said, Jesus said, you will know them by their fruit. There's a fruit that you, you produce. Hallelujah. You see what's going on right now in the, U, in the UK? It's almost like the same thing that went on over here too, you know. You will know them by their fruit. They're going to, man, they're going to, they're going to manifest. Just like Jesus manifested to destroy the devil, the devil is going to manifest in people. Hallelujah. He's a murderer. <laughs> he's a thief. He's a liar. You know, he's a sexual immorality. You know, this is a spirit that comes upon the people. That's if you do not abide in him. He said, abide in my word and my word will abide in you. Our defense is the word of God. The shield of faith, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. It is God's word. Hallelujah. It is God's word. So we have to learn to abide in him and he will abide in us. For whosoever is born of God do it not sin. For his seed remaineth in him. And he cannot sin because he is born of God. In this the children of God is manifested. Praise the Lord. And the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteous is not of God. Neither he that loveth not his brother. Remember, you know, um, there's going to be hypocrites and Pharisees, you know, and <laughs> these guys are going to be there. He said, you know, you know, many antichrists is already in the world. Hallelujah. For instance, the Pope. He had to holy, put on holy garments. The guy's a devil. He's, like, he's, a, de <laughs> he's a devil, man. He's wolf in sheep clothing. Hallelujah. Just like these he evil Israelites, they're, they're wolf in sheep clothing. I'm telling you, man, they don't practice what they, you see, they, they, they don't practice what, what, what they preach, they don't do it. Hallelujah. They do it to be seen of men. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, and that and God said, you know, we should not have any other God before him. If we put your, your, the Pope before him, Muhammad before him, Buddha before him, Krishna before him, Je Je Jehovah Witness, <laughs> these people, they don't know God. The Bible said, you know, he that is born of God, sin it not. But it's, you know, we cannot, the, we, we, the, the law is there, but we cannot keep the law. Only the Holy Spirit that's abiding in us, he's the one that keep the law, he's the law. You know, he, he is Lord of the Sabbath, he, he's the law. He's the law. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, and I um, just want to show, show you something else about um, in the book of um, Revelation. Revelation um, chapter 20. You know, and I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it. From whom? whose face the earth and the heavens flee away and there was found no place for them hallelujah the bible said you know the the, um, the heavens shall roll back like a scroll and we're going to see jesus come with thousands and ten thousand of his angels hallelujah for i saw the dead small and and great stand before god and the book books were open and another book was open in the book uh, is the book of life and the dead were judged out of these things which were written in the book according to their deeds 
He has two books. You know, one of the books is open, and there's another book. The books, you're gonna the um the ones that did not surrender their heart to God and give their life to Christ, they're gonna be judged out of that books according to the deeds what they have did on the earth because they do not have a mediator. Hallelujah. That's what Jesus says. He did not come to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Jesus is the mediator. Hallelujah. That's why when you put your trust and 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 faith and give, and give and give your life over to Christ, He become your mediator. He become your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. He said you know, that you're going to be passed from death into eternal life. We're not going to be at this white throne judgment. We're not going to be there. The people that's going to be at this white throne judgment is the one that was not found written in the book. But, it, the, but he's talking about the books now. Is the one that they're going to be judged out of. Everything that a person have done in their life, all their sin, they're going to see, see, it's right here. He did it. He did all this. Because they did not accept the sacrifice of the Lamb of God. And that's the condemnation that the people are underneath right now. Who do not receive Christ, they're already condemned. They're condemned to die. But thanks be to God for His grace and mercy that give us another day to repent. To come to Him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He gave us one more day to repent. To turn to Jesus. The Bible said, um, Love not the world, nor the things that are in the world. For if any man love the world, the love of God is not in him. You are going to love one and despise the other. But we have to learn to love God. Hallelujah. For the Bible said, all that's in the world, you know, is the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. It's not of God, but it's of this world. Hallelujah. For the God of this world has blinded the minds of the people that they will not believe and cannot see. First Satan, he, 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 um, he blinds you. He's not blinding you physically. You have your two eyes, you can see the stuff. But spiritually you're blind to the things of God. Then he binds you. He ties you up. You know. He, he ties you up. You know. He blinds you that you cannot see. Because you need light to see. In the darkness you need light. That's what David said. Thy word is a lamp and a light. Unto my feet and unto my path. He blinds you. You cannot see. Spiritually. And then he binds you. When you talk about binding you. You know. You know. In in all um, in all in all kind of um, acts like you know murder and lying stealing sexual act these are the things that he binds you with you bind you bind you bind you bind you up you know a lot of people find themselves in jail in prison you know that's physically you could see physically because of the crime that they was they they committed even this the world have a law and in God's world there is a law in in God's world there's a law in the spiritual realm there's a law. That's your law, you know. So the law, that's why the world cannot understand who Christ is. Because they are blinded by it. They are blinded by it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know, so, you know, so the Bible says that uh, God is so blind among the people that they cannot see and believe. Because if they shall see, they shall be saved. That's why the gospel must be preached. When the gospel is preached, the, the Bible said the, the gospel is the power of God unto salvation to them that believe. So when you believe on the gospel, you believe on what Jesus done on the cross for you, you're going to be set free. Because the Bible said without the shedding of blood, there was no remission of sin. This is what the Jewish people have been doing for from God knows when, you know, since God gave it to um, to um, to Abraham, He showed it to Abraham. This is what you got to do. But when Jesus come, when the real sacrifice came, they did not receive it because they they're too entangled. Up. They they actually they actually been blinded and they're binded. They've been binded by religion and tradition. They're bind. They're bind up. They can't see, you know. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But when they when Jesus shall come back, you know, you're gonna know it's him because it's because of what they did to him. He was, you know, crucified. He was pierced in the in the um in the house of his friend. They're gonna see the wound in his hand. Even the Bible tells you, you know, what are these, you know, in, in you know, what are these wounds in your hand, Lord? And he said, These are the wounds I got in the house of my friends. Hallelujah. They said, you know, we don't want Jesus. Give us Barabbas. They crucified the Lord of glory. But he had to die. Praise the Lord, he had to die. That's why I know that um, Judas, he could have repented. He could have repented of his sin. Judas would have repented. He, God said he did not lost not even one except for the son of perdition. Judas could have repented. But when the enemy have you blind, blind so bad, it, it bring you into a deep, 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 dark, dark rabbit hole. You cannot come out unless the glorious light of the gospel is being shined. When this gospel is being preached, it's, it's God's light is being shined upon the people. Hallelujah. Many of them is going to be proud hearted. Just like, just like the children of Israel, they were proud in their heart. They don't want to repent. They don't want to come to Jesus. Hallelujah. But praise be to God. Paul said, you know, who shall deliver me from this body of sin? Thanks be to God, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. God made a way out, out of here. God came to set the captives free. Jesus come. God came in the first of Jesus Christ. There was no other way. There was no man found in heaven. But the Lamb of God. Now is the man Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The man Christ Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God in the highest. The man Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, as I read the word of God, I see so much things in there that God uses in every every page of the Bible is Jesus. You could see him. Praise the Lord. You know, he goes up. He said, I'm going to rose up a bread. I'm going to rose up somebody, one of your brethren. He rose up Moses. We think that that was is the spirit of Christ in Moses. Hallelujah. <laughs> that even when he went up to the mountain and he came back down, his face shined like light. <laughs> shined like light. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, and Jesus showed us, us, us again. He took Peter, James, and John and went up to the mountain. And guess what? He saw... These are Moses and Elijah. And guess what? They were shining. His countenance, the countenance of Jesus was shining so bright as the sun, man. <laughs> why can't we see the thing? Why can't we believe the thing? You know why we can't believe the thing? Because we don't believe that God is. You know, we don't believe His Word. We said we believe. But if we believe, your life will change and transform. Hallelujah. We cannot remain the same. God said, He that is born of God, the seed of God remain in Him, and He cannot sin. Say so, you no, know, we have to pray for the hunger. For, we have to pray for the hunger. He said, "They that hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled." We have to pray for the hunger. We need a hunger, man. We need a hunger for God. You know. But um, anyway, I just want to share these things, these things with you. You know. You know, God is doing a wonderful thing in the earth. He's doing a wonderful things. And He said, "These are, you know, the books is open, and the one that was not found in the book, in the last book of life." They're going to be judged according to the books. And he said right here, The sea gave up the dead which were in it, and, the, and, and, and death and hell deliver up the dead which were in them. <laughs> oh God. You think these guys, um, um, Hitler, these murderers, these, these people that does all these things, they escape the judgment of God? The Bible said, Right here, the sea is going to give up the dead. We're talking about the sea. He's talking about the world. You know, whatsoever is in, you know, whosoever died and buried, they're going to get up again. But they're going to get up to the great white judgment throne of God. They're going to be judged. And guess what's going to happen to them? This is what's going to happen to them. And, and deliver up the dead which were in them. And judge and, uh, according to their works. And the dead shall, shall be cast into the lake of fire. He said right here, and, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. 
this is the second death and the second death is what we're trying to warn people from do not go to this place the the, uh, the rich man said don't tell my brothers don't come to this place tell them don't come here because it's torment imagine that you died in this world and then you're gonna God's gonna resurrect you and then cast in the lake of fire it's almost like this you chop it you, you go to the forest you chop down a tree it was green you chop it down and then the tree dies right and you have it like, like chopping wood so you put it in the barn but the tree is still there you can still see it now the man take the wood take the wood right take the wood and throw it in the fire it ain't gonna be nothing but ashes man <laughs> it ain't gonna be nothing but ashes but the thing about this one right the body that God is gonna give to you cannot die you're gonna be tormented day and night before the presence of the of the holy angel you're gonna be torment day and night day and night day and night you're gonna be burning in hell that's hell that's hell fire hell is a place where the wicked people that God throw is gonna be staying and paradise is a place where God put the, um, the saints who's gonna be resurrected on that day so there's a hell there's a paradise but there's a lake of fire Shoot them. <laughs> Shoot them. you know that's the second death is gonna be the lake of fire is the second death and that's why God said, you know what, you know what, listen to the, listen to the people, them, um, he said, you know, that the, um, the rich man said, um, send somebody back and tell the people in my house, tell my brother, tell my father, tell my mother, my aunt, my cousin, send somebody to tell them, I said, let them hear the prophets that's up there, let them hear the saints that's up there, right now, the people of God is here, hallelujah, the people of God is here to minister the word of God to you, to minister the word of God. Hallelujah. And when we minister the word of God, we're sowing seed. Hallelujah. It's a seed of God. When we talk about right here, if the seed is in you, it remain in you. And you cannot sin because the seed of God is in you. Basically, God is saying that. Paul Paul called it in the book of Acts and he said, you know, um, no longer I am crucified with him. Okay, we're dead. But yet still I'm living. Yes, then I'm alive. But you no, know, I'm crucified with Christ, but yet I live. But it's not I that live, not the life that I live. The life that Norman lived, the life that I live. I don't live unto myself, I live unto God. I live unto Him, to Jesus Christ, who gave His life for me. So now I am, I am, I am, I am bought with the price. I am bought. You know, Jesus buys us back. You know, He, he, he buys us back from the devil, man. <laughs> Because Adam gave over his birthright to the devil. Hallelujah. Praise God. And Jesus came back, came and paid the price for us and took us back. But we have to come to him. He said, come unto me, all that labor that are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest for your soul. Praise God. We need rest, man. Hallelujah. We need rest for our soul. Praise God. And these are the few words that I want to share with you guys. I don't want to take so long, you know, because when I start to talk, you know, Hallelujah, the, 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 the revelation of God is so awesome. I just want to share with somebody, and I hope that somebody hear the word of God and be blessed by it. Hallelujah, God bless you, cause His face to shine upon you, in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you.